First, meet Stephanie Cohen. Uh, Stephanie claims that she is often visited by aliens who help to guide her through life. Not only does she claim aliens sneak into her room at night, she also says that she has sex with them and has out-of-this-world orgasms. Professor Chris French, however, believes there is a rational explanation and a welcome to you both. This is utterly fascinating. And we should say to Stephanie, we're glad to have you here this morning because um, as you've been in this morning talking to us, last night, did you... you travelled out to the solar system. Where did you go and how did you get there? Um, well, um, we, the, my group, I call them Team Spirit, and um, we have a UFO, uh, flying saucer. Yeah. And we've got a um, photo. Well, no, it's not a photo. Uh, it's this a picture is, I drew. This is a drawing that yeah, you've done. Drew, and this, is, yeah. this is the UFO that you went in. Yeah, sure. Um, and um, we go off to planets within our own solar system, but also to way out into the solar system. Do you go in mind or universe. do you go in body? Um, in mind, because it happens when I'm a, when my physical body is asleep, but my spirit will then could leave. It be, could it be a dream? I mean, would that be what most people call dreaming? Um, a dream is a, a friendly way of letting you know what you've been doing without scaring you. Or that's what... Um, dreams really are yeah. um, because people would be afraid to actually um, uh, would be afraid if 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 they were face to face um, with say an alien yeah yeah uh, so so the different species let's let's talk about them the, the, yeah. these different beings yeah. you say that mm -hmm. there are cat people there yeah. are reptilians mm -hmm. yeah um, are they all they're all part of they're not part of the same race so these are separate no entities. they're very separate but they do come from the same the solar system that they come from, which is the, within the Canis Major. So that's where they that's where they originate. Yeah, they're, they're different planets within the Canis Major system. So you, I assume, have seen life and other civilizations on other planets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how and how prolific is life in the universe? Uh, when you look up at the stars at night, that's how prolific it is. Who is Ian, the octopus man? Yeah, he's an octopus man. He uh, stays quite close to me, um, sort of like a spirit kind of boyfriend, but not really boyfriend. I don't call it boyfriend. Just a spirit, good spirit friend, um, and he happens to be. Um, from the octopus race. I mean, all of them indulge in insects, but particularly the cat people are, are extremely highly um, uh, charged sexually, mm -hmm. um, you know, um, and um, it's part of our culture, the cat people culture. So what do you make of this? You're not convinced, are you? I'm not convinced, no. I mean, I think the viewers at home will make their own mind up about what they think about what we've just heard. Uh, the obvious question is, was well, there any kind of external proof for any of this? I mean, and there's lots of claims being made about um, various kind of expeditions to the solar system and elsewhere in the universe, but it's all happening in Stephanie's head, basically, as she, as she admits herself. Now, I mean, there is this thing about the, the orgasms. That's clearly a very physical event, mm. which, you know, we wouldn't choose to, but we, we, one could actually observe that. Mm. But, uh, again, there are alternative explanations. There is a, there is a, a disorder known as persistent gentle arousal disorder. It's We've quite interviewed, rare. We've interviewed someone on here with yeah. that. Absolutely. And very often, usually, people kind of don't find it very enjoyable. Good luck to Stephanie that she actually seems to enjoy the whole experience. But there are alternative explanations for absolutely everything that Stephanie's mentioned. But it's a lovely thing to, to imagine, though, isn't it? The fact that we are all... We happen to have a, a sort of flesh aspect, that there's a spiritual side to us that could travel the universe. It's, it's not, a, it's not a, a new claim by any means. There have been claims like this for, for, for centuries. Um, there were claims... You know, back in, uh, in, in previous centuries, that uh, people had gone to other planets and observed things. But of course, now we've actually been there ourselves and we can see what is actually there. We know that all those claims were wrong. Mm. So, are they with you all the time? I mean, are they are they here now, for example? Yes. Mm -hmm. so and what is the reason for them being here? Why are they here? Why did they choose to come in today? Um, because I'm here. So they follow <laughs> well, you wherever coming, you are. They've been coming all week. Yeah, actually. Today. Yeah. Just my, keep my, an eye grand, on us. my grand's been sitting on the sofa over there uh, doing her knitting. My cat grand, uh, grandmother. So aliens is. knit. Um, well, she's she takes on the human form. She has been in human incarnation. Why don't they show themselves? If we are, if you, if they're, if they're here now, mm -hmm. and the, one of the greatest things, one of the greatest revelations 
for mankind would be one of these beings to manifest themselves right behind me now. Why don't they show themselves? Um, because then they don't really, they're not into showing off. They're, they're very um, quite reserved in themselves. Um, well, they have sex with you at a bus stop. That's not very reserved. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what I mean is they don't, they don't show themselves to the world like that. They tend to deal on a personal level with individuals because they are, we all have guides, our own guides, and they are my guides, mm. and so they interact with me. Um, if you wanted to see them, they would do that through your guides. Mm. Um, or your guides would allow them to come through so can that you can see them. Go on. I mean, I mean if, if these spirits are actually here, I mean, that would be a very easy way to test that. Mm. We could get, if we could get the spirits to go on into another room just outside the studio and tell us what's come back in and tell you what's in there, and then you tell us, that's it. That would shut me up. That's would they all do it would that? take. Um, go, tell them to go into my dressing room right now <laughs> and tell me what's in my briefcase. Would they do um, that? I. I don't know. Um, I'm, I, I'm trying to myself to uh, look it, look in, into a, a briefcase myself. Um, what do you see? I don't know. I just see the briefcase, but I'm not what actually. What colour is it? Uh, I'm seeing a briefcase. Um, I'm seeing it's dark in colour with a silver strip. I'm seeing a briefcase. I'm not necessarily saying it's necessarily, but I'm I'm not actually going into the briefcase. I let you. You're allowed. You can snoop in there as yeah, much as you like. Yeah, I'm, I'm not actually. Um, I I don't know why. Um, maybe later on, they will. Show that, show that to me. Um, so I'm not claiming that I, I can actually... See, again, again, <laughs> we fall at the final <laughs> hurdle where proof was possible right here mm. on the telly. I know. They fail once more. I know. But, I mean, I, I am psychic and I am mediumistic, and yet yeah. I am actually saying it doesn't always work, work when you want it to work. And these, yeah. which yeah. ones are these? A, you, who, yeah, who's that? which one's that one? No, it's, it's just a, 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 an image of... Um, when I first, when the greys first came to me, um, that was how they appeared, okay. with the large dark That's eyes. quite an established view of, of the way uh, aliens have been visualised on, on this is This is how greys look. Okay. There are other beings that will look slightly different yeah. in colour or... It did strike words. me when I was on on Monday, actually, and you were saying, you know, why, why is it that they keep on abducting people and putting probes here, there and everywhere? I mean, what they need, really, is a copy of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> there you go. I've been waiting since Monday to say that. Well, well done that you finally managed to get <laughs> it in. Well it's done. absolutely fascinating. It is, it it's, is fascinating. It's fascinating. Thanks fascinating. for coming thank in. Thank you very much. Thank you. thank you. Thank you. All right. And good luck if you go off on your trips tonight. Bring something thank back. You. Yes. <laughs> yes, I want to look. And I might actually uh, tell you what's in the briefcase later, but for some reason they're not. Uh, yeah. You know, telling me right this moment. Well, you can forget the briefcase if you can bring me a little bit of Saturn, and that will be proof enough. He just wants the uh, <laughs> No, I've got that. I want Saturn. <laughs> uh, for further information on our Supernatural Week or anything we've just discussed, have a look at our website. Room and I have brought. This is the briefcase that we were uh, we were talking about. That's uh, that's the very one, very old. I would argue time. that's a satchel. Well, yeah, but she should have known that. <laughs> right, go if on. She'd have gone in there. I've got a book. I've got a wallet. I've got a phone charger. Um, I've got some. Uh, I've got some headphones. Um, I've got some pens. I've got some. Got some mints of a various brand. Flick flack. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> and uh, I don't remember someone's put that in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, whatever. <laughs> yes. Well, there you go. There you go. That's the now briefcase. we know. God. Um, also, Carly Smithfield. She says that that was some of the best TV ever. Um, Solly Dolly. Very showbiz name. I bet uh, she thought the sex was out of this universe. Yeah. There you go. Oh. I, I, I'm quite jealous of her. Like because she's happy. Like she goes off to space. <laughs> Not the sex at the bus stop. No, not the sex at the bus stop, but I can give and take that. Thank you I'd much, love but... to just go off to space. That'd be but fantastic. The, I mean, she's, out, she's having a great time. 
Yes, she is. <laughs> um, Amy says, no dis disrespect to the woman, but watching Phil's face has made it worth me staying in to mm -hmm. watch this morning today. David, I only tuned in for this interview to watch Hill, uh, Phil and Holly's faces. You did very well. Um, I think you've got to I... listen to everybody. No, indeed. You've Absolutely. got to keep an open mind. Sometimes my face lets me down. Uh, well, the, the final comment, and I think this sums it all up about that interview, was from Ben Tarling. It brings new meaning to Fifty Shades of Grey. Ah, oh, oh, yes. she calls them greys. They were called She greys. called them greys. Why didn't we think of that? That may be where it comes from. Maybe it is. Mm, there we are. Mm, Lovely. Thank you, guys. Thank you, team. Thanks, Thank you very much indeed.